Hi, this is Dave Young, and today we're going to look at a use case of harness design in Altium Designer. The best place to start is by creating a project and making sure we understand how everything works. So we're going to start there. One of the big pushes that Altium's made the last year or two is to keep all of the data in the design in one place so that it can all be linked and it can all relate to one another. And harnesses are no different. There's gonna be multiple files that show up with a wiring diagram where you can define the wiring, layout diagram where you can define the layouts, a bill of materials, and finally, a draftsman drawing, a manufacturing drawing. Defining the connectors is one of the key parts of making a harness, and this is no different. We're going to start with some parts that are already created in the library. These are receptacles that have solder points or could have crimps or really any way of connecting to the wires. With the components placed, we're now going to put the wires down on our design. This is similar to placing wires on a schematic, although here you can define which exact part this wire will hold. So right now we're gonna put the wire down and then define the part. The other way is to define the part when you're placing the wire itself. These, these parameters will follow into the bill of materials. So it's important that the library is correct and every all the data is in there. And it's very handy for when making quick changes and knowing that all of the information will propagate down and all the outputs will remain correct. We'll skip ahead to where all the wires are correctly connected and we can look into some of the more interesting features. For instance, twist in a wire can be defined in the wire harness documentation with this twist character. You place it over the wires that you would like to have a twist in them, and then you can set it for another wire that wants to have a different twist. Now here we have it set so that all four wires are being twisted, which is not what we want. We want just two. So you need to change the designator on each of these twist designators so that Altium knows that two wires are being twisted in one set and two wires are another. A second feature they have is taps. And taps are different than splices where taps do not interrupt this blue wire. Instead, it opens up the wire and allows for a connection to be made. A splice has the blue wire cut and then the three points are connected. This tap can be wired in and you can have this third wire come to a different connector as you need. Fields are another feature that all team includes in their harness design. These are super handy, either with a connection or not, but you can define a shield with a part on the bomb by placing the component and also making whatever connections you need. Once again, you can designate which wires are shielded by circling the wires with the big ring. We can further define some components in the bill materials associated with other part. So for instance, this tap can have a part associated with it like heat shrink. So if you wanted to create a tap and then allow for heat shrink, you can add that to the bill materials. Similarly, if we have a crimp that needs to be added to one of the cavities on the receptacle, we can add that as a part so that it's listed on the bill materials and can be purchased by the buyer. Now our wiring diagram is done. This defines everything electronic and everything in the bill of materials. So a lot of the design work here is complete. What's really neat is now that we look to the layout drawing, we can bring in all of the data that we created in the wiring diagram and sync it up with the layout drawing. It just takes a second and it pulls in all of that data. These steps now focus on showing the mechanical side of the design. Here we're going to show the connection points, the connectors, and we're going to be able to decide if we want to show things more graphically like this, or if we want to move to a more physical representation of the wire harness and connectors. First, we're going to look to redefine the harness bundles and where they end up. This will allow us to say where we want to have heat shrink, where we want to have boots, where we want to have all the different features that a wire harness may have. For instance, we're going to need to have all these connection points added so that we can show where the different harnesses break off into the different connections. Now you'll note there are some parts that we will add to the bomb with this change 
or with this document so that we can keep the bomb up to date, mostly with electronics on the wiring diagram and then with mechanical components on the layout drawing. Now here we've started to change some of the graphical representations into physical ones. And it's going to start to feel a lot more like mechanical CAD than electrical CAD here. And that's good because that's what a lot of assemblers or a lot of uh, manufacturing engineers like to see. It's very quick to recognize where a connector is or where a boot is or where any of these parts are when you can see the graphical representation. Now you can play around with a lot of different views. You can play around with a lot of different angles. You can add heat shrink. We've got boots. We've got all kinds of features here that we're going to put on this wire harness that we want to make sure that we articulate well to the mechanical engineers and to the manufacturing engineers. So I'm going to fast forward on this. You already saw one connection, but uh, I'm going to fast forward so that you can see all the connections come together and be done. So there's boots, and then now we're going to put on a label. We want to have some label that sits there with a part number or whatever you want. You can add that right here. And again, this can end up on the bill of materials if you'd like. So with the mechanical and the electrical defined, now we want to design the documentation for draftsman or for the mechanical drawing. And this really is a summary of everything so that at a glance, an engineer or an assembly person would be able to see what the design is doing. This once again takes advantage of all of the data that you've created and pulls it in to another diagram. These stay linked and synced. So if you wanted to make a change, you can just propagate that through and have everything show up. Bill materials, connection diagrams. We're gonna put in a few of the callouts so that you can say if you want something to be done a little bit differently, like a label to be added only after inspection's done. You can do uh, some measurements, you can do some dimensions, you can manually input them, or you can allow them to scale automatically with Altium. So while I finish showing all the features of these last few draftsman pieces, I just want to point out that this harness design tool is a far sight better than trying to design a harness in a normal Altium schematic document like somebody may have done five or six years ago. Uh, we now have the ability to connect everything, make the bill of materials work, and have everything come together. To recap, we have created a wire harness design where we got to define the electrical characteristics in the wire diagram, the mechanical characteristics in the layout drawing, and the bill materials with both the wiring diagram and the layout drawing. Those can all output to a bill materials and a manufacturing drawing, giving a complete picture that can be integrated into the multi-board design or just use standalone. I hope you try it for yourself. And as always, this is Dave Young. Keep building.